Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another top five winners of our Discord inspirational contest. And this contest was called Slithers and Scales, and we gave the contestants 3,000 square meters to create an awesome reptile house. So a big thank you, obviously, to my contest managers of my server for organizing this amazing contest. Again, you guys, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for that. And despite I'm saying top five, it's actually top seven because we have a shared third place. So yes, you're going to look at seven amazing reptile house creations. Without further talking, let's jump into it. So the fifth place has been won by Heka Mecha. Congratulations with your skills and tails oasis. And as you could tell, we are in the desert right now. So I do really like it that you use this biome already for your contest entry. And this is absolutely insane. I really love this entrance. This is super inspiring. I wonder, I think you're using plaster pieces or anything like that for uh for your building i think it's absolutely amazing and um did i just saw a crocodile swimming in this water section or am i going nuts i i just opened the file before i started recording and i thought that i saw a crocodile already in this water section but i'm not really sure now maybe i'm losing my mind Okay, let's go inside here we have some uh, staff buildings right over here this is obviously not really uh uh, that important for the reptile house, obviously, for the staff it is, but not for the contest itself. Okay, let's go over this bridge. I really do like the small little details you used here with all the stone pillars and stuff. These lights with, like, this extra detail of some rope, which is really cool. Really like that. I think these are meant to be wires, but I, it works really well. I do really like that. So we have a staff room right over here. I do like the small little details in here this is so cool okay we have some exhibits on these sides really lovely decorated oh, I love these things on the floor as well this looks really nice it's just like you can sit on it does remind me of like some kind of uh, pillars where you can sit on in a zoo that's really cool I like these colors rainbow colors <laughs> We have some more exhibits on this side as well. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, these shapes. This is so cool. I really want to use something like that. Wait, what do, what do we have here? Oh, we have the tortoise. I think this is the algebra giant tortoise. Am I wrong? Oh, Galapagos. Ah, shoe lady, you were wrong. <laughs> oh, that is so adorable. Oh, I really like this. Super close to the guests. Uh, do we have anything on that side? No, I think that is a back... Is that door open? Oh, that door is open. <laughs> I was like, is that like uh, a customer? So it is! It is a saltwater crocodile habitat. I knew it. I saw it. That is really cool. But it's harder to see them because they're now diving. Which is so amazing. Look at that. This is looking awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is really well done. I really do love this creation. And for all creations, since we have a lot of creations, we're going to try and go uh, quickly through them. But if you want to look at them yourself and explore them yourself, all the winners are in the description down below. So you can all download them yourself. Uh, give them a like, of course. Appreciate them. Tell them what you guys think of all these entries. And uh, yeah, go and... Uh, Download them yourself to get some inspiration out of it. I think uh, this is definitely really well done. I'm actually curious if I'm missing out on anything behind here. Oh, you actually detailed it a little bit, which is super nice. I do like that. So we have a few staff buildings in here. This is the tortoise entrance. Yes, awesome. The star stairs going here, going, oh, this is a cute private section. Wait, do you have another flooring in here? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I, I thought maybe I missed out on some kind of stairs or anything. This is actually really cute. They can actually go up here and have this more private section. That's adorable. Oh, I'm glad that I uh, went back to it for just a little bit to check that out. That is really amazing. Well done, Heka Mecha. Congratulations for becoming the fifth place 
Very inspiring, beautiful reptile house. Thank you so much for participating. And the fourth place goes to Yuri with her reptile island. Congratulations for becoming the fourth place. This already looks very, very promising. So I'm super excited to actually go in here. Uh, there are, again, some staff buildings right over here. Uh, we're not going to pay attention to that, but just so you know where the keepers get their stuff. Uh, this is really nice, actually, going down here. Oh, oh, is that the cut caiman? I think it is. Is it that? <laughs> I don't know. It's standing super still. Not really sure. Uh, hopefully, it's... it's, it's I, I want to see what that is. Are you stuck? Are you a statue? You're a statue! Oh my god, I was fooled so hard right now. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, let's go inside. Um, this is really, really beautiful, detailed. I really love it. I love the shape of the building. It looks really cool. Welcome to Reptile Island. Oh, small little details right over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, you barely can tell that this is just one exhibit and then another one next to it. I actually felt like this was a big exhibit, so it actually... Kind of works. I never really tried this to just keep the glass windows open, but it actually kind of works, which is really cool. I like that. Oh, did you create your own exhibit right over here? Oh, that is so cool. Oh my god, that's amazing. I love it. It's such a pity that we can't do that in Pliant Zoo ourselves, that we just have these small little animals and create small exhibits for them ourselves. Like, I really wish they would change that it's for some reason. Uh, wait, what is this? <gasps> oh, but... <laughs> wait, what? Is that not a statue? <laughs> How am I going nuts here? Another statue in here. Why? Oh, is that like some kind of education area or something? I'm not sure. Uh, do we have... Do we have real ones in here? Uh, special exhibition. So we have more... Exhibits right over here. Yes, there are more exhibits right next to each other. That is really cool. Okay, we can go up here. Okay, let's go up. And let's have a look. Oh, we have more exhibits here. The decoration is really nice inside of this. That is looking really awesome. Oh my god, these... What? Is this... Did you create these yourself? These are so adorable! Oh my god, I actually was like, did I miss out on these statues in the game? Oh my god, that is adorable. I love that one. That is so cute. That is looking great. Oh my god, we have a stall right over here. The amount of details, that's insane! This is so beautiful. Well done, Yuri. That is so cool. Okay, so we go and look outside. There is water here. I wonder if there there should be a reptile in here, right? I think that was one of the rules, like one, at least one habitat and exhibits or two habitats and exhibits. I'm actually starting to doubt myself now. Uh, wait, wasn't there stairs going down? Okay, reptile cave, floor. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. We have a tortoise and we have the now monitor. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, that's amazing. All these level level variations in here. That is so cool. Ah, oh, I love this for the kids to walk under it, like feel how the enrichment item feels. Oh my god, look at these guys. This is so adorable, Yuri. Oh, that is so cute. I really like it. And there is all these kind of education stuff. Oh, there are enrichment items in here. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. And this is probably their food or something. This is so creative. That is so cool. So we have an exhibit right over here. Oh, we have another floor? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go down. The now monitor, floor two. Oh my god, this is so awesome. So many levels in here. Well done. That's insane. 
This is looking so cool, especially also with the different height elevations in the habitat itself. That's incredible. You can walk around it right over here. And we have an underwater viewing. I'm so confused if there is an animal in here or not. Is that connected to this habitat then? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> We were almost in the water, but this is looking insanely good. I really wonder if there is an animal in here. That would be so cool if it was. It looks amazing. Really incredible work. Super inspiring. Definitely. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are looking at this like, oh my god, I'm going to create something like this as well. This is insanely good. Pono fish, education, water plants. This is insane, Yuri. Well done, well done. This is really, really cool. All right, I think... Yes, this is another level. Oh, the amount of levels you created and how you created them, that is absolutely amazing. I really do love it. Okay, here's the entrance. But yeah, definitely. If you want to explore this one yourself, download it yourself. It's in the description down below. Leave a like at the workshop item because it's definitely incredible work. Congratulations again, Yuri, for becoming the fourth place with your Reptile Island. Definitely very creative and inspiring work. Thank you so much for participating. So the sh first shared third place goes to sarah aka room to grow with her ikala reptile house congratulations for becoming the third place in a reptile house contest i'm really excited to see what is in this super creative and very cool reptile house building that looks really awesome i really do like the front of it and i really do like these use of these australian pieces that is really cool uh, so let's go inside right over here. I think there are also, yes, there are also some, um, it's very busy right over here. There are also some uh, staff buildings right over there. Uh, we're going inside. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, those were so many doors. <laughs> okay, what do we have here already? There are some really cute small little signs. Oh, this is beautiful, beautiful entrance. This is more like an airlock, right? Also, like, imagine becoming, uh, entering here and, and being super warm and heated because of this uh, reptile house. It, it feels that way already. Uh, oh, this is so adorable. Oh, look at these guys. I really do like how you made this exhibit, by the way. It feels super realistic for some reason. It looks great. Hello, you. You're so adorable. Hi. Oh, I love this. I love how you created the background of here. I remember using bamboo myself, but it's always a little bit messy, maybe. This looks super neat. I really wonder how you did that. That's great. Okay, we have an educational sign right over here. And then uh, we have a lot of beautiful exhibits on this side. Look at this wall. Oh my god, I love this. That is such a cool education. What are you standing still? That's such a cool educational uh, wall, actually. That is looking great. So we have the tear pin right over here. This is so adorable. Amazing. Oh, what's there? Oh, there's another tortoise. Wait. Oh, well, you just... <laughs> I see what you did here. I see what you did here. <laughs> that looks so cool. I think this is just some kind of shelter area from that side most likely yeah i think that is connected this is so cute oh my god i really love this i really love this okay let's go in saltwater crocodile oh my god this is so awesome oh, i love the rock work here with the waterfall oh my favorite rocks love it that is looking great there's a saltwater crocodile on that side oh the rock work is so good it's amazing. This is looking beautiful. Very realistic. Definitely very realistic habitat. Really gorgeous. Just look at that waterfall right over here. Oh, that is looking awesome. Super inspiring. So this path is probably not leading anywhere. So I think we can go up again. I think this is really a very creative way of creating a reptile house you can probably extend it yourself if you want to uh, use this one 
and just extend it yourself with other buildings and other habitats and stuff. That would be super cool. Definitely. Well done, Sarah, aka Room to Grow. This is really inspiring. I really do like it. Amazing work. Congratulations, Sarah, for becoming the third place, a shared third place. I'm going to say it again with two other people that also became the third place. So we're up for the next one. But congratulations, Sarah. And thank you so, so much for participating. And if you want to see or use this reptile house yourself, it is in the description down below. And uh, don't forget to leave a like at that workshop item to uh, share some love for Sarah. Congratulations. And another shared third place goes to Slithers and Skills Contest Entry by Asnet. Congratulations for becoming the third place winner. Thank you so, so much for sending in this really cool build. This looks absolutely amazing. I have never seen anything like this. This is so creative. Oh my gosh, that is looking so cool. I really have no idea how you did this, but you did it and it looks really cool. My goodness, that is so awesome. Okay, let's go in. Oh, look at this. That is insane. Oh, I really like the, uh, the details you did here with the rocks and the plants. So we have some exhibits right over here. Looking really cool. And uh, we have some plants in the middle. You can really tell that there, I think there's a lot of work going into this roof. Uh, I think it's amazing. And then we have uh, the giant tortoise of the world. Can you spot the difference? Uh, well, uh, I already shown that I am not able <laughs> to tell. I think, I, I don't know. I think the elder tortoise is a little bit darker. Um, and... The algebra giant told is a little bit bigger, I think. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong. I really have no idea anymore. Uh, Galapagos giant tortoise. And I think the algebra giant tortoise is on the other side then. Yes. <laughs> this is really cool. Really cute. I really do like it. I really, really love what you did here with the roof. That is really, really insane. Beautiful work. Oh, there's a fence on that side to make sure that they're not able to get in this little section right over here. Really well done, Asnad. And congratulations for becoming a shared third place. Thank you so, so much for sending in this really creative and inspiring build. Thank you so much for participating and congratulations. So the next shared third place goes to... Pugums, I hope I pronounce it right, with Oasis Hides Reptile House. And this one definitely looks super promising already. This is definitely something I have never seen before in Planet Zoo. So I, I really love the style you went for. This is really cool. Just look at the sign here. And look at this. Oh, this is amazing. And these, I don't even know how to call them. Uh, these platforms, they're so creative. You used so much bamboo in here. Oh my God, this is, this is, oh, this is amazing. Okay, let's go and, and look. I, I think we just need to look down or something. Um, oh wait, okay, there's a stairs right over here. We have, uh, it's not an exhibit, no. Let's go around here in case we're missing. Okay, we have a higher platform right over here. Oh, look at this. This is so adorable. Some kind of stage for education. Some kind of showcase. I'm not really sure what kind of animal, but that is looking super adorable. We have some more exhibits right over here. That is so cute. And more exhibits on this side. Oh, love this. This is amazing work. I love the style you went for. I'm not really sure how to call this style. Just look at all these pictures beams right over here that is amazing that's so beautiful incredible so much work went into this especially with the beams with the bamboo it's it's insane it's really insane all right let's go down we're gonna go down right over here and we can look 
Into a habitat. I already see some enrichment items. There is uh, a trash. <laughs> Litter. Uh, oh, we have a uh, now monitor. I love the now monitors. So, oh, but I also see a Garial in the in the distance. Can't really tell where the now monitor is then. Are you in here? Oh, look at the rock work. That is looking amazing. I really love how you use the different height elevations in this one as well. Thank you for cleaning that, by the way. This is looking amazing. Oh, there is an L monitor in the, in the back. And there is a waterfall. Oh, let's go here. Oh, this is beautiful. Your rock work is very detailed. I really like it. It's beautiful with the waterfall right over here. I really love it. That is gorgeous. Okay, so wait. I think then on the other side, there will be another staircase then going down to the saltwater crocodile. Oh, no, the the, the, the gharial. I oh, love it that you used a gharial. Oh, there's fish plate. This is amazing. Oh, look at that. There's a baby gharial. That's so adorable. Gosh, I love these guys. Okay, we can go extra down. These platforms are just so well made. Just look at all these structures right over here. All the bamboo you had to use to create this, but it works so well. It's so inspiring. I love it. Oh, another beautiful waterfall. This is gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. I really am impressed. This is really nice work, Puggins. Definitely. Really creative way of creating a reptile house like this. Let's look at it from the top. I mean, come on, you guys. This is insane. That is beautiful. Wait, did we miss out on anything here? Oh, no. There's the exhibits. Also this, just the outside. This is really beautiful work. Glowing fond. We have a glowing fond, are you kidding me? Is this glowing? If I make it nighttime. Oh, beautiful. Really, really well done. Congratulations, Pugims, for becoming a shared third place. And uh, congratulations, really, thank you so, so much for participating as well in this contest. Really impressive work. Congratulations. So the second place goes to Sartiria with their classic Reptile House. Congratulations for becoming the second place. This classic Reptile House building looks so freaking impressive. I already am in love with it. You guys know me and my city zoo. This is definitely a style I really, really can appreciate. I really do love this. And uh, it looks insanely good and really inspiring. And uh, oh man, I really, really love it. This is absolutely beautiful already. Okay, let's go inside. Wait, is there also a habitat here? No, this is just a very cute and beautiful little garden. You use the classic theme so well. I really, really do love, love that. That is amazing. Okay, let's go inside. These doors. Do we have these doors? They're so cool. Why did I never use them? Okay, go in. <laughs> oh, wow. This is beautiful. Educational signs on both sides. The garden and grotto. Okay, we have different levels. I really love that. Oh my god, there is... What? How do people get there? Oh, the balcony. Ooh, interesting. Okay, wait. So we have the now monitor right over here. We have a cave on that side. Uh, I guess I guess people are looking that side. So I guess we should go that way. Oh man, this is looking so pretty. Oh, I love it. Again, with using these paths. Super interesting with different height elevations. Wait, we have a gharial on this side? Wow. This is so cool. There is one. This is really looking beautiful. Such impressive work. So this should be... Oh, there is the now monitor. And there is one. That is so brilliant. 
I love this. This is so cool. Can we just continue right over here? We can. We have exhibits on this side. That is so well made. We have another educational sign. We have places to sit. If our people want to sit down and chill for a little bit. This is beautiful. Oh, I love it. That is so creative. Okay, how do we get down the attic? And then we go to the garden and grotto. A photo booth. You're kidding me. Oh, that's so funny. Cheese. <laughs> Queue here. Well, unfortunately, no one is queuing, but we got the idea. Uh, so what do we have here? Okay, we have a shop right over here. Just some decorations and some flower or plants information, I guess. And now we go to the grotto. Oh my, this is so cool. Look at these rocks and how you use the vines and the plants and the ivy. Ah, wow, that is so cool. Beautiful. You really use the Arctic pack super well in here. I love it. These, these, I don't know, they're trees, roots, whatever you want to call them. This is beautiful. Well done. That is so cool. So it's the underwater viewing for probably the Gario. And this one is 40 now monitors. Oh, I love it how you integrated this. I really couldn't tell from the top that you had these uh, underwater viewing galleries over here. I love it. I love it. It's super creative. Really beautiful. Very cool work. Yes, definitely a really cool way of using the classic theme in Planet Zoo. Super inspiring. Congratulations, Sartiria, for becoming the second place. Really well deserved. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see any entry, they're all linked in the description down below. So uh, leave a like and uh, show some appreciation for these awesome creativity and these awesome builds. Again, congratulations, Sartiria, for becoming the second place. And the first place goes to... To be continued with your oxygen rainforest and reptile house. This entrance looks fantastic. It looks fabulous. I already love it so far. I have not seen anything else. But just... Just, just look at this. This is just beautiful. That is insane i love this so so much this how oh, oh my god the shape of your reptile house is is incredible it, it's really incredible it's super inspiring i i really love it but let's go inside wait let's go and look at the sign that sign is so good it's so thin this is incredible I really, really love this already. Okay, okay, let's go in, let's go in. Uh, nighttime display starts at 10 p.m. Okay, saltwater crocodile, Komodo dragon, eastern blue... Oh my god, these, these fonts! Uh, eastern blue tongue lizard... We have all the animals summed up right over here. Oh my god, you have this really cute little cave viewing in the Komodo dragon habitat. Oh my god, uh, it's looking so adorable. I love this already. This is so cool. Oh my god, we have a saltwater crocodile right over here. Oh my god, this is looking so gorgeous. Oh my god, it's so busy over here. Okay, we have another uh, viewing right over here. I love these small little viewings. This is beautiful. We have a green iguana on this side. We have a beautiful waterfall on that side. Oh my gosh, this is so incredible. Okay, we have, let's see, we have some exhibits right over here. They're so well integrated into the decorations around it. It's gorgeous. We have another viewing in the Komodo Dragon, I think. Oh my, boa constrictors. Another exhibit right over here, common death adders. Lesser Antilli... Uh, what? Lesser Antillian Iguana? Eastern Blue Tongue Lizard. Uh, I, I don't know why I keep reading <laughs> reading the signs, but well, we all know the animals right now. Uh, oh my god, this is looking so cool. That is beautiful. Okay, we have another level right over here. Nighttime this Star. I, I think we should check this one out also at nighttime. 
Okay, we have a path going around. Oh, look at these cute little decorations. Look, look at these cute little decorations right over here. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, wow. This is beautiful. The puff other. Oh, oh, I think she caught someone. <laughs> well done, well done. You got him. Get out of our zoo. Go away. <laughs> that is amazing. I love it. Wait, what do we have here? Do we have a habitat here? <gasps> it is a Komodo dragon. Oh, amazing. Oh, we have some staff education talk point. Oh, lovely. Oh, but it runs away. It's not really happy with it. Well, it has different level. I love it. Oh, yes. Amazing. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, Komodo talk. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Oh, this is so good. Definitely well deserved first place. This is insanely good. Uh, the guests can sit here, look into the habitat from this side. Staff only. Do they walk through the waterfall right over here? <laughs> oh, yeah, so they can fix it. Yes, okay, I get it, I get it. For for, for maintenance and stuff. Uh, okay, we have yellow anaconda. Let's go down right over here. So this is the busy, busy spot on this side. Oh my god, this is just insane. Okay, we need to check. We need to check. 10. Let's make it 10. I'm not sure if that is definitely a thing. But we're just going to do it. 10. Exactly 10. Oh, man. Just look at this. Oh, that is so beautiful. That is really, really well done. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Your lighting is definitely really incredible. Oh, you can actually look through the waterfall now. That is not really uh, intended. That is, uh, that is a planet zoo issue, I guess. But it looks really cool, though. This is beautiful. Really, really well done. I am really impressed. This is definitely a super awesome reptile house. I can't say anything else. It's, it's really impressive. I am really... I was already impressed with the outside, and the inside is definitely amazing work. Congratulations to be continued. This is really, really well done. Uh, uh, congratulations. Definitely do let me know, everyone, what is your favorite reptile house that you have seen today? Let me know in the comment section down below which one was your favorite. And of course, if you want to join any future contests, definitely join my Discord server and get the Planet Zoo role. And the uh, Discord inspirational contest role in my server. If you need any help, definitely uh, ping one of my moderators and they can help you out if you don't understand exactly how Discord works. Thank you so much again for everyone participating in this amazing Reptile House contest. Thank you to my contest managers again for organizing this. This is absolutely awesome. I can't wait for the next contest to see what you guys are all going to be uh, to come up with, I think this is definitely super inspiring. Thank you again for all contestants for participating in this contest. Really, really well done. And congratulations to all the top five winners. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And congratulations. And yeah, leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed, of course. And subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content on the channel, I definitely have you covered. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. You can find the links in the description down below as well. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.